Hey guys, if you've been watching my Gunpla building series, you've known that I've been working on this kit for a little while now, and it's finally completely done, so I just wanted to share, you, share it with you guys and just kind of show you how the finished product came out. So, uh, as you can see, it's all painted up in the color scheme that I went with for this. Colors are not exactly what I had in mind. Uh, the, basically, the main color is a little bit more blue than I wanted. I wanted it basically just to be more gray. But it still turned out okay, and then I went with just a flat top coat for it. I tried using this top coat at first, which is just made by GS Hobby, and it was pretty bad. It just didn't really work very well. It went on, but then like it stayed kind of soft, and it was more like a semi-gloss rather than flat like it's supposed to be. Uh, so after like 48 hours, it was still like soft, and like when I like try to touch the kit it was like leaving fingerprints on it so I immediately stopped doing that so I let it sit for another day or so and it was still like that so then I just went ahead and just sprayed the uh, this Mr. Hobby top coat on top of it and this top coat is the kind that I usually always use and it worked fine so now everything is all top coated on that let me give you a look around the kit there's that light grayish blue color for most of the armor and then there's a little bit of navy and some uh, darker blue, I forget the name of it suddenly uh, sorry I guess it was just navy right and then uh, for all of like the uh, frame parts and joint parts stuff like that those are painted in mahogany like a really dark brown color and then the inside of the thruster bells and the power cables are all molded in purple. So I do really like how that purple came out. It did work out really well to give it just a little bit of splash of some like really bright color in there. So that worked out really well. Uh, for the decals, uh, I went pretty minimal on the decals. Didn't really do a whole lot. As you can see here, I'll just go ahead and stop it. Uh, I need to bring this closer. On the leg, I just made uh, painted this symbol here and put Tamori, which is the uh, artist name of my Japanese friend who I'm going to be sending this kit to, uh, Akagai Tamori. I've talked about him before in a Gunpla News video, so you guys, I'll put a link to his, uh, uh, what was it, blog or uh, Tumblr below so you can check out his stuff. Just to look around some of the other decals, there's just um, the numbers there. I just painted these uh, kill markings there, the X's on there. Painted a just band, black band around the thigh there with that uh, officer marking. And that's pretty much it. I do have its accessories here, which are the funnels that just attach onto the arm, uh, or sorry, onto the shoulder binder. So those will just press in like that and those are on there and then this side like that I'm being careful because I don't want to scratch the paint but there you go that's what that looks like with those on there and then I do have all the open funnels all painted as well so got all of those just like that and here's the beam saber slash uh, dagger on there. Uh, if you guys saw, I sharpened up the dagger. And it is a little bit crooked though, sadly. But uh, and then I sprayed glossy top coat on the beam to make it a bit more shiny. So that's on there. And then the handle's just a uh, really dark color there. And here's the uh, beam rifle with the hand attached on there. Just some green in the sight, some red for that cord there, and just a little bit of two-tone gray, mostly German gray, and then just a little bit darker gray there. On that. And then here's the shield, pretty simple, just the 522 marking on there, and the back just got some colors. And then also, as you can see, all around the kit, I just did some chipping on there just to do some weathering, if you saw in the Gumpla building video I, I showed how to do that and how I did it. That came out pretty well. Uh, I, th I like it. I think I'll definitely be able to do it better in the future. But uh, just for a first attempt on a kit anyway, I think it came out pretty well. And that's pretty much it. If you can see, 
there's the mono eye in there is just painted in pink and there are a few just like other smaller details uh, painted around like to paint these parts in the back and that part there just had to do a little bit of masking not really a big deal uh, just the inside of these parts is all painted in gray like the inside of the shoulder armor is all painted in dark gray the inside of all the skirt armor is all painted some detail painting there under the front skirts and yeah all the wash was done with a uh, brown wash to kind of match with the brown color of the inner frame so that is pretty much it uh, I want to basically now I'll just put the kit in a few different like poses and just basically give you just kind of a showcase of how the kit looks when it's posed up but that is going to be about it thank you guys for watching leave your feedback down below I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think about um, this any questions comments things you like things you don't like about the build let me know um, I'll be looking forward to hearing that so thanks guys for watching and I'll see you later